He, I'm here with uh, Eric from Blackboard and Bruce from Loyola, uh, Loyola University in Chicago, and um, we are here at the Sprint ID booth talking about uh, the education uh, Sprint ID pack. So, hoping you guys can give us a quick run through of what you guys have helped put together for uh, the Sprint ID pack. Sure. So, um, we've got a couple of the new ID phones. This one's still booting up, but. Uh, the idea is that we've, we've taken the apps that we already built for um, for Loyola um, and we put them all into this uh, very immersive experience. So mm -hmm. we've taken the Blackboard Learn application, which is already available on the app market, and the Loyola application, which is still in development, and we've exposed, auto-exposed a lot of the widgets that, uh, that come with the app. So the news widget lets you scroll back and forth between news articles. Um, if I can tap that particular section of the screen. Yeah, there you go. So, lets you scroll back and forth there. Um, we've got a, a search bar that lets you automatically jump into searching the campus directory. Um, a few shortcuts into different modules of the Android Central application. And then a widget that you can browse through the scores on. So, you know, I want to follow a particular team at Loyola. This is how I would browse back and forth between, between the games. Um, the other big one is um, the recent activity in my courses widget, which shows you any new announcements, grades. That's really you know, neat. You have a quiz coming up today. Like it just shows up on your home screen, and you maybe you're not thinking about it. You're going to check your email, but you see that, and you go, "Oh, right. Now I know. I I, re I remembered. I need to go." Turn that homework assignment. So Loyola uses Blackboard pretty much exclusively. All the classes, all the professors are yes. integrating Blackboard and schedules. And yeah, the majority of our courses are, have a component of Blackboard for every semester. There's um, a sh course shell loaded into Blackboard for every course we teach in that semester. And then each each faculty member uses certain components of that. So we're hoping that with this, we'll just continue to keep the students connected, give them the ability to stay connected while, while they're on campus and while they're off campus from their own devices. And how do you expect um, students to actually get the get this app, app pack on their phone? Well, they would, um, they'll, word of mouth actually, they'll get it to them, but we could see when they get their device, they'll have it there. Uh, through communication from us, we'll let them know how to contact it. But we find that just word of mouth, it, it travels really fast, and students really help each other out quite a bit in getting that. And I think, I think especially with the ID packs as well, mm -hmm. the say they go into a Sprint store mm -hmm. to, to buy their phone, you know, Loyola might go talk to the local Sprint store and be like, hey guys, you know, if it's obviously a student that comes in to buy a phone, you may point out that there's this great ID pack that has everything already configured. Now, will students be able to get these types of apps for the phones regardless of if they get these three phones that have yes. Sprint ID enabled? Correct. Okay. Yeah, so the apps will be generally available. And how long have you all been working together, Blackboard and Loyola and Sprint? Um, well, Blackboard and Loyola. Yeah, Blackboard and Loyola have been working together for oh, over seven years now. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we've, had a, we've been at Blackboard uh, School for quite some time. And the mobile initiative, we've been working with them for over a year on different things. We started, really, this is our first semester live with everything. But we had talked a lot about opportunities and stuff. Well, it looks like a great start, so congratulations, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you much.